It was here in New York he first met the Italian Carla Flacci, with whom he has worked longer than with anyone else. They have become the perfect romantic couple in classics such as Giselle and Le Safide, and their teamwork is admired by both audience and ballet dancers. I met Carla in 62 in New York, as a matter of fact. And uh, at first it seemed right, but it didn't seem like anything unusual. This last year, something has happened, and uh, I can only describe it in, in this way, that when things begin to feel like something quite natural is happening between two people on the stage, in spite of all the hard work that it involves, then something is uh, happening. And uh, I think this season that we're now having in New York, presently with the American Ballet Theatre, has certainly proved that uh, the thing that was about to happen with Carla has come into a state of being. Uh, for me, this is particularly a very happy situation because uh, uh, each performance that I do uh, as of today is perhaps in a sense, or could be my last one, I don't think in terms of years like before. And uh, on many occasions, years before, you realize that if you do have to work with people that you don't get on with the same way, something will happen maybe next year. This is not the situation for me today. So uh, dancing with Carla Fracci today is uh, something that I'm very grateful to have found and to have had happening to me today. First of all, I don't think I really wanted to become an international star, but I was terribly curious about, first, my visit to London, which I returned to for about two years before I came to America. And somehow, I always returned to Denmark with some frustration about not having seen or learned enough. And one would normally come back to one's own home country saying that everything is wrong, and I probably did the same thing. But there was something wrong. There was something uh, wrong locally, perhaps even abroad. And last but finally, I wasn't quite right. And this I was very curious about.